Welcome to a new course on authentication and authorization using Angular and .NET Core. What we'll be getting into in this course is roles, claims, we'll be using identity, and also JWT tokens. This course is going to be 16 videos long. And at the beginning, we set up our login form. Well, we set up identity, then we set up our login form, our register form, and then eventually we add JWT tokens to the user, policies, claims, roles. And towards the end, we actually confirm the user's email. And that's what we do at the end of the course. This course has a bunch of assets that you can use to help you through the, throughout the course. Here I have this checklist link. If you click on that, you'll end up on this page right here. Now you won't be able to see this page unless you log in. And the account you can create is free. So you can create a free account with freecamp.com. You'll find this link down in the description. If you create an account, you'll be able to view this page and then you can follow along with this checklist. The other asset you'll have is this right here, this snippets link. All the code that I'm adding to each of these videos, you can find it here. If you're having any troubles or you just feel like just copying and pasting everything, you just come into this page and just copy and paste everything you want in the project. So if we take a closer look at what we'll be doing throughout the course, here we'll have a register form. We'll be setting this up throughout the course, and you'll be able to add administrator or manager roles to a user. Also, you'll be able to add different claims to a user. So in this case, you'll be able to add developer and designer claim to a user, and you'll be able to create new accounts. Once you create a new account, you'll be able to log in. So let's try logging in. I already have an account called Mike1234, and a really good password, 1234. And then when you log in, It'll greet you, and then you'll get access to protected areas. So only admins can view this page and get access to top secret information. There's even a manager link. So if you log in as a manager, you'll be able to view the manager page. And that's not showing up now because I'm logged in as the administrator. We go into setting up JWT tokens. And if we go into the developer tools, view application, and as you can see here, we're storing a JWT token. We decode that JWT token and we use that information throughout our application. So let's get started setting this up. To find this application, we can get it on GitHub and you'll find this link right here down in the description. And then we'll clone this. So go inside the code and we'll copy this to the clipboard. Open up the command line. And inside the folder of your choice, I'll just put it on the desktop. I'm going to be deleting it anyways. I'll clone it. And then navigate into the folder. And it's called Angular Core Authentication. And then I'll open up in Visual Studio Code. Once you open the project in the editor of your choice, you should see three folders. The API folder. This is our .NET application with all of our APIs. And then the core folder that like holds all of our services, our classes, things like that. And then the Angular application is inside the spa. So you can see the package.json file here. So we need to run npm install to install all of our packages. Let's do that first. I'll open up the command line. You want to navigate into the spa folder and then run npm install. Now this is going to take a few minutes. While this is installing, let's view a few of the assets that you'll have within this folder. So here you have a collection file for Postman. If we open up Postman, if you're using Postman, you can bring that collection file into Postman. You can import it into Postman and you'll have access to all these APIs already created for you. These are all the APIs that we'll be using throughout the course. For example, the login API. I already have the body already set up for you. So all you need to do, just enter in the information that you want. Then you won't need to fill in everything from scratch. Another thing you should have within the folder is this diagram image. And this is something we'll be checking out later in the course. And it's just a couple steps we'll be completing throughout the course. So you'll have this as well. And then another thing we'll want to check out is inside the core folder, inside the data folder. And this is where we're going to hold all of our migrations. In this video, I'm not going to bother doing a migration because we go over this in video two. And we really don't need to do the migration right now to get the application up and running. So let's go ahead and start the application. So what we'll do is we'll start the 
front end and we'll start up the back. If we open up the command line, and I can see we installed all of our packages, so that's good. So I'll open up a new terminal. Let's navigate into our API. And to run the API, you want to run .NET run. And the application should fire up without a problem. And then we jump back inside the other terminal. And we'll start up the front end. So I'll clear all this out. And run ng serve. And this should fire up without a problem. Now let's check it out in the browser. Back in the browser, if you go to localhost 4200, refresh it, your application should fire up and it should look pretty much the same. But the only difference now is you won't be able to log in or register. And the reason is, is we haven't set up the database yet. And we do that in video two, where we set up identity and we do our migration. But you should be at this point now, if you want to go back to a earlier version, like let's say, for example, you want to go back to video one, we can easily do that. If we go back to GitHub and then we'll check out the commits by clicking on this, and then what you're after is the commit number. So let's say you want to go to video one, begin, copy this back in the terminal. Let's open up a new terminal. Then what you want to enter in is Git checkout and paste in that commit number, hit enter. That should jump you back to the beginning. You could actually see that on the left side here, the lower left in Visual Studio Code. And then another way you could tell if you go inside of the identity controller, a lot of this should be empty now, and they are. So now you are at the beginning. So in the next video, video one, we'll begin setting up identity in this project, and we'll do that next.